The following is a production of New Mexico State University. Today we visit the Arboretum at Flagstaff. This public park covers 200 acres with plants unique to the Colorado Plateau environment. Here I got to explore the lovely shade garden with gardens manager, Sarah Cassatt. Sarah, the shade garden is beautiful and a lot more lush looking than things out in the open. Yes, we can grow plants that uh, need more water or a little more sensitive to the huh. intense sunlight in here. What's this one? This is meadow rue, and this mm. is the female plant. Well, I see the pretty flowers here. Yes, and the male plant has a different growth habit and different flowers. Kind of a lot more frilly looking. Yes, okay. amazingly enough. Ah, yes. In the plant world, things are different. Yes, they are. And I see a plant over here that's covering the ground very well. Let's take a look at that. All right. Well, this really looks nice. This is ladies' mantle. Looking awful good here in a very dry environment. This is a very hardy plant. It overwinters here just fine and uh, can deal with dry conditions. Now, I saw you had a lamium, which is also a good ground cover for shade areas. Yes, it is. We Let's take a look at that one. The plant with some really pretty foliage, and I see it's going to give us some pretty flowers as well. Yes, it will. Interestingly, this is one of those plants that in other parts of the country can be problematic. Hmm. It, in New England, it tends to grow rather vigorously, but here in our drier and colder climate, it tends to behave itself a little better and stays in a smaller confined space. It's one of those plants that we can manage with water. If we water it a lot, it's going to grow a lot. Give it less water, it's going to be more confined. Yes, exactly. Okay, notice we've got a plant over here that can talk to us. Let's go over and see what it has to say. All right. It's called pig squeak. Well, that's interesting. I think most of us know it as heartleaf virginia. It's an interesting plant, and, you know, it's growing very well here. It's actually from Siberia, so it's very well adapted to the high elevations here. Ah. And probably what makes that squeak is the waxy coating on the leaf, which protects it from, it from drying out. And the wax comes off of my finger, so I can even make the squeak sound without the leaf now. There you go. Take I, no it with you. I noticed over here another plant that has a perfect western name. Let's go see Miss Prunella. All right. You know, the name Prunella makes me think of pioneers of 100 years ago. And this is a plant named Prunella. Yes, this is a very nice ground cover, and again, it's a nice hardy plant that overwinters here and can handle the, the drought conditions. It's the kind of plant we need here in the southwest, and it's got the perfect southwestern name, Prunella. It's a very nice combination. Sarah, thank you so much for this tour of the Shade Garden. You're very welcome. The proceeding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.